EasyDraw is available with free market licensing from EasyDraw.com and with iTunes licensing from the Mac App Store. This tutorial will introduce you to the EasyDraw help system. I know that the help for most apps is totally lame and we never even bother because what I'm looking for is never there. I don't know the right computer jargon buzzword to find anything and if I do find something it is just a few words telling me what I already know. That is not the case for EasyDraw. The EasyDraw help is quite extensive. The indexed search phrases are common everyday words and we are going to see that the help pages really have useful information and a great deal of detail. Okay, well, if you're ever in EasyDraw and you get stuck and you need help with anything, all you need to do is go to the help menu right here and you have a few options. You can either search something by putting in a search query here or you can choose EasyDraw help or EasyDraw manual or online resources. Best way to do it though is through clicking Easy Draw Help and when you do this is what you get and you need to go to the table of contents and here is the table of contents of everything on Easy Draw. This is like a site map on a website. Let's say you had an issue with ovals on Easy Draw. All you need to do is click on oval here and you get a plethora of information and details on how to do ovals on EasyDraw. That's not just a one line explanation or a few words. It's a lot of information and detail. Or let's say you had an issue with the trackpad on EasyDraw. There's a plethora of information on this one too not just a few simple lines. The help menu has access to both the help pages and the EasyDraw manual. The manual is a traditional 350 page book. You can purchase the book from EasyDraw's website or you can access the PDF of the book from the help menu. The help pages are a bit different than the manual. They are more extensive and formatted for browsing on your computer screen. Think of the help pages as a website where we use search phrases and explore interesting links by surfing the documentation. I use the help pages to look things up right on my screen while I'm drawing. In comparison, the manual is more for sitting down for a night's study. If you ever need access to EasyDraw's manual, again, you can just go to Help, EasyDraw Manual, and this is what you'll get right here. Let me extend it a bit. There you go, there's the table of contents. There's a lot of information here. It is a 350 page PDF of a book. EasyDraw doesn't update the manual as often as it updates the help pages. I notice that new features or changes are always current in the help pages, but the manual only gets revised every couple of years, so that's a really good point to keep in mind if you're going to use the help option on EasyDraw. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of the help system. At the top of the help menu, as you can see here, is a search field. This is dual purpose. It will help you locate commands in the menus and give you the best links to use to jump into the actual help pages. Type a search word in the menu search field. Auto completion is at work for you. 
Use common terms. Don't try to guess at some computer jargon. Stay general or broad in your terms. Let your computer work and give you a good list of options. The top hits on the menu are access pointers for all of the easy draw menus. Slide the cursor over any one of these and the corresponding menus are expanded to show the target menu item. Now see, I'm working on a drawing and I have a bunch of lines put down, but they need to be aligned and distributed evenly for my graphs. Now where is that align command? Hmm. Where is that align command? You know, you know what? You know what? Let me just let me just search for align on the help menu right here. Let's see. A L I G Oh, oh, well, look at that. That's all I needed to type. And I am getting all the top hits from the menus here. And the one that I'm actually looking for is a line and size top edges. And you notice how when I put my cursor on it, it popped up the menu on Easy Draw and it's showing me where that command is. So it's in the format menu under align and size, choose the option top edges. In the format menu, align and size, and choose the option top edges. And voila, it got all aligned. The menu search can be used to locate the command in the menu hierarchy, or you can execute the command right from the help menu. The selection in the help menu is live. You can use it directly. I should point out that many apps on OS X will have the same menu help search feature. Apple's human interface guidelines define this and most good OS X apps will implement the same interface to their help documentation. So everything you're learning in this tutorial should apply to most of your OS X applications. Okay, well, my lines are aligned now, but they're not evenly spaced. I remember, I think, um, that the command was distribute, uh, or the word distribute was in the command. Well, let's try that. Let's go to the help menu and let's type in distribute and let's see. Distribute. Okay, well, here we get again all the um, top options here from the menu items. And the one we want is distribute center across right here. And notice how it is showing us again where it is in the main menus. It's in the format menu. Uh, align and size, distribute, and then center and across. But this time, instead of me going to the format menu and doing all those steps, I'm going to implement it right here from the help menu. And voila, it was that easy. At the bottom of a help menu search is a list of help pages. These links will take us straight into the help documentation, past the table of contents, straight to a page of interest. EasyDraw tries to show the best hits at the top, but the ordering is not going to be that well defined. You will need to review the hits and decide on the one that is the best match for you. Don't worry too much if you do not see a really good match. My demo here, of course, will have great hits and matches, but in the real world, when you are working, maybe not. The key is to dive in. Even if this top level match is not dead on, you are going to find threads of links leading to the information that is needed. 
but you can't get there unless you dive in. Well, let's suppose we want to add dashes to our lines. And we don't know how to do that. We're going to enter the search phrase dash. And let's go to the help topics this time. Oh, there you go. Dashes panel. Takes us straight to the help topic for Dash's panel instead of going through the table of contents and all those steps. Well, let's see what we have here. There's the Dash inspection view. There's the Dash sequence specification. Let's try the Dash inspection view. There's a lot of information here and there's a lot of links as you can see and each one leads us to more information and details about how to get your project done for what you want to do throughout the user interface on EasyDraw you will find the small question mark buttons these take you directly to corresponding help pages. Okay, well, as an example, let's take a look at a parameter palette on EasyDraw and see what the question mark button on it does. Let's go to the Tools menu here, Color and Style palette, and here is the question mark we are talking about. We click it, and it takes us to the help pages about the easy draw color and style palette and all the information you're gonna need is right here if keyword search is not an option for you then you can open the home page of the help documentation right from the help menu and let me show it to you guys you go to the help menu and you go to easy draw help and this is the home page of EasyDraw. With only a few clicks, you can navigate to the documentation for any user interface element. So on the home page, here you see drawing as an option, and you see menu reference as an option. And this menu reference is a very important door. When you click on the menu reference, you'll get basically all the menus that EasyDraw offers on top here in this list and by clicking on each one of them you will get an explanation of all the different options and you can click on the options and get even further explanations on them but notice that in the menu reference page the top portion like I said is an exact copy of EasyDraw's top menu right there now we are going to do a demo we're going to menu references and we are going to format and we are scrolling down to align and size and there it is with only a few clicks we got to the information about align and size EasyDraw is available with free market licensing from EasyDraw.com and with iTunes licensing from the Mac App Store.